Well, it really has been a funny old year and I never actually thought I'd be stood here now about to run you guys through our 2020 trade show. Now, I've got a limited time to run through all the products with Dan this morning as the doors open to our customers in just under an hour's time. But I can assure you, if there's anything that you feel I may have missed or there's some more information you wanna know about certain products, then we actually have a dedicated product video for every item we've launched this year available on our website to watch. So make sure you go and check it out. Without further ado, I head downstairs now and we'll run through some new gear. So last year we actually brought two luggage ranges out. We brought a green range and a camo range called Subterfuge. Nothing's changed with regards to them. There's a couple of new additions to the Subterfuge range as well as one addition to the green range, but I'll run through them as we move further down this aisle. But firstly, at the top here, we've got a brand new range of luggage which we've called the Water Box. You've got a 100 series and a 200 series. The 100 series is a range of pouches and the 200 is a range of bags. It's made of EVA, it's completely waterproof, extremely rigid, and what we've done, we've made it a modular and sort of stacking style system, so you can sort of build it and make it to how you want. I think there's sort of over 50, 55 different configurations of how you can actually have these bags and pouches. So as you can see, this is Waterbox 130, and just to give you an idea, I've got this little 100 pouch here, and you can get three of those sort of in there. Obviously a third one will go in there neatly, or you can take those out, here I've got a 115, that'll just slot in there, and you could get a 105, that'll go in there, and you can get two of them on top. Then you could take your 130, for example, and you can stack it inside the water box 230, so you can have six of them inside there. As I say, there's so many different ways you can have this, and you really can customise it to how you want. So as I said, it's made from EVA material, which is fully waterproof, there's no stitching involved, all the seams are welded. Unfortunately, the only thing that isn't waterproof is the zip, but should you drop the bag into water, submerge it for a matter of seconds, your stuff inside will remain dry. I love to keep all sort of my technical equipment inside one of these, as well as my tackle, and especially throughout the winter, on them long, dark, muddy, wet nights, all of your gear is going to remain dry. Let's move further down the luggage aisle. So as I mentioned, last year we brought two new luggage ranges out. One was a green range, the other was a camo, which we named Subterfuge. This year, a few new additions to the Subterfuge range. Firstly, we've got rod skins. Now, we didn't just want to bring out the same rod skins that we do in the green range into the camo. We wanted to do something a little bit different, a little something a little bit more upmarket. So what we've done is we've provided single rod skin, a double rod skin, and a triple rod skin, which are fully stiffened and padded, which means you're going to get ultimate protection for the rods and reels that you put inside it. Um, other additions to the range, we've got three new versions of HyperTech case. Again, fully stiffened, rigid cases to keep valuables and things safe inside there. We've got a food bag, a cool bag, scales pouch, but a couple of favourites of mine. Firstly, it has to be the XL Workbox. Now, the original Workbox we've had in the range for sort of two years, I believe now, and it's been extremely popular. And you guys absolutely love it, and the demand for a large one was incredible. So I'm pleased to say that now we've got that in the range. Very similar to the one before, but obviously it takes a large capacity tackle box now. On the underside of the lid, you can put all your wallets. This one will actually store 30 wallets. You can get a huge amount of TT inside there. On the back of the divider, another large mesh pocket for sort of PVA tubes, files, vices, things like that. And then you can get additional tackle in the top. And then EVA tray on the top and then a hard rigid base on the bottom. But probably my favorite item in the range has to be the new subterfuge rucksack. The recon rucksack in the scope range, it's sort of a take on that. So as you can see, a huge main compartment there. Inside there, there's a water box, five or six of the water box pouches. Absolutely swallows all your tackle up inside there. You've got one long out of pocket, and on the other side, you've got two smaller ones. These will also take some of our water box pouches. You've got the same facilities on the Recon, so you can actually turn the back panel into a folding table and you have a removable magnetic tray on there as well. And on the top, I'll just show you on this one, you've got another pocket which will take a medium capacity tackle box or you can sort of slide your EVA tray in and out of there. So there it is, the Nash Subterfuge Rucksack, a bigger take on the ever popular Recon Rucksack and I'm sure this one's going to be extremely popular in the range. So just quickly, as we're coming past the clothing, I'll show you the new bivvy slippers. So these are deluxe models. They're available in camo and in green. 
Updates to the last model, we've put a heavy duty molded sole on the base now, and as well as that, underneath the inner sole, there's actually a one centimeter filling of sponge, so they are extremely comfortable. You tread on any hard ground, gravel stones, things like that, nothing's gonna penetrate through into the sole of your foot. And as I mentioned, one new item to the green luggage range, and that is a boot wade bag. As you can see here, it's just swallowed up. Our size 11 wellies, take waders, boots, wellies, whatever you want to put inside there. We move around the corner. So coming down to the end of the TTL, you see we've got a range of box logic. So it's the same range that we've sold previously, but we've just updated the cosmetics for 2020. So you've got a black base now and a black tinted lid. A couple of new additions into the range include two hook boxes, a small and a large, and we've now got a medium and large tackle box, which we've called loaded. So you'll see inside there, you get the medium tackle box, as well as three or four compartment boxes, some linker boxes, dividers to customize it to how you want as well. Uh, TT rig station, which has also been updated cosmetically, but it now comes supplied with a testing tank. Additional products to go with that is two side tables that come supplied as a pair and a rig station needle box. Let's carry moving on further around the trade show. Now this is a range of rods that I'm truly excited about. It's a top range rod for mid-range money. It's called the X-Series. There's 10, 12 and 13 foot models in the range. In the 10 foot, we've got a three pound and a three and a half. In the 12, we've got a three, three and a quarter and a three and a half. And in the 13, we've got the casting animal at three and a half pounds. Now I've got a 1K carbon finish, Nash branded reel seat, a super sleek abbreviated handle with a pointed matte black butt cap with Nash detailing. American Tackle Vortex Air guides on them, which are super, super sleek and lightweight. And on the 12 foot model and the 13 foot model, you've got 50 mil ring in the standard. So if you're in the market for a new set of rods, even if you're looking sort of top end, don't ignore these, go and have a look for yourself because I can promise you the quality and perception of these rods really isn't reflected in the price tag. We'll stay on the subject of rods. We've got another awesome one in the range. We'll head over there now. So as I mentioned, another addition to the rod range, and this thing really is an animal. It's a dot spod rod. We've sold the bait rockets themselves for around two years now, and we needed a tool that was gonna make putting these bad boys into the lake a hell of a lot easier. And that's where this was born. I personally am not a big caster. I use 10 foot scopes, the majority of my fishing, I'm fishing 10, 12 wraps on my syndicate but I actually put one of these 39 wraps, which is just unheard of for me. My technique is absolutely horrendous, but if I can put one 39 wraps, someone with a lot more knowledge on casting, a better technique is gonna put it a hell of a lot further. And during testing, a large loaded dot spot, which weighs roughly five ounces, was actually cast over 50 wraps in one of these. So yeah, an absolute animal of a rod. Feature-wise, abbreviated handle with a large shrink Japanese grip at the end. You've got a Fuji matte black reel seat, one and two foot markers on there as well, so if you want to use it as a marker rod, you can. AT Vortex Air Guides, 50 mil butt, up to a 16 mil ring as standard. Available in 12 foot, and as I say, if you're looking for a tool to put them dot spots into the lake and cast a bit further, please do not ignore this rod. Moving on, we'll go to the prodding sticks, which are just to my right hand side. Now, prodding sticks are something that I use whenever I'm boat fishing. They're an absolutely essential item of kit in my tackle but feature-wise, we've upgraded them for 2020. Now, it still comes in sort of your same standard three length sections, if you like. So you've got the bottom section where you can attach either of the two attachments it comes with. So you've got a domed one here, which is used for feature finding, and you can actually use this as a marker pole as well. So you've got a pointed cap, so you can put it into the bottom of the lake. You've got a centre section, which you can actually buy a spares, so if the lake that you're fishing is deeper, you can buy more of these to enable you to get down to the lake bed. But the main feature of this one is the top section. Now, as I said, you can use this as a marker pole, and sometimes if you've got three 1.5 metre sections, that's not going to match the depth of water you're fishing. So you'll have a lot of poles sticking out the surface of the water. But we've enabled now the top section can actually be split into three, so you can sort of adjust it to the depth of water you're fishing. And as well as that, you've got a reflective strip on the top. So when you're out at night in the boat with your light, trying to find your marker pole, it's going to reflect back of you, making it a hell of a lot easier to find. Moving around to the corner, we'll go to carp care. So as I said, 
Carp Care, there's actually only one new addition to the Carp Care range, well two new additions. You've got a Carp Cradle which is available in two sizes, a standard and a monster. But feature wise, now we've made it a lot lower to the ground, so it's going to get out of them cat shots a hell of a lot easier. You've got a drainage mesh channel through the centre and you've got foam padding the whole way around the perimeter to keep that carp safe. And like a lot of guys now, you have to do self takes on your lake, so if you're running back and forwards from the camera, you've got this protective flap just to cover that to make sure the fish is safe. And as well as that, you've got adjustable legs on all four corners. Moving further around. So as well in the range, we've got a brand new four-fold bed chair. This is the MF60 version. So it has all the same features as the memory foam sleep systems, including the twin valuables pockets, the ability to attach all your mattress sheets, pillows, and shrouds. You've got the USB connectivity at the head section for power packs. But main feature wise on this one, you've got this recliner system on the head section. So you've got three levels of setting. First one just pops in there. So you can sit up in bed, nice and comfortable on your phone. You get bit nice and relaxed all the way down to the lowest set in there. So a lot of anglers don't actually like to take pillows with them or they don't actually like sleeping on a truly flat bed. So this just enables you to incline it ever so slightly to suit it to how you wish. And as well as that, it comes supplied with this fully stiff and carry bag. So as you can see, even when there's nothing inside it, it's freestanding, which means when you pack your bed chair away, you can slot it in there ever so easily. And it's also supplied with a shoulder strap on top. Whilst on the subject of four-fold bed chairs, we've also updated the scope one as well. Uh, it includes the same recliner system on the head section, one-piece single mattress now, and it's a lot lighter in weight. So that's it for this end of the trade show. We're going to head right down to the bottom now and check out some brand new shelters. Let's go. And actually, just before we get down to the end, there's one last product I want to show you guys up this end of the trade show, and that is a junior sleep system. So if we go around here, so here it is, the junior sleep system. Now, let's face it guys, there's loads of young kids getting into the sport these days, and it's not practical taking two full-size bed chair with you if you're taking your lad away when you're on the bank. This is absolutely perfect, it's tiny, weighs next to nothing, takes up no room in the bivvy whatsoever, and it's perfect for those budding young anglers. So up next, we've got Green Titans. Not a lot has changed with regard to these. All we've done is we've updated the front of the bivvy, so it's now got this curved tension bar with the clip to put your peak to a point. Price as well of these is staying exactly the same as it was before. But behind me, this is one of the real showstoppers of the trade show so far. It's the Blockhouse. And from first glance, it might look like a gazebo, but I promise you it's not. It's the same style frame as the gazebo, but it's actually a bivvy. And I'd say this is a luxury one-man bivvy for those longer sessions. Not just in Europe, you know, a lot of guys nowadays, they're going for longer sessions in the UK. And this is something that you can be much more comfortable in. You can stand up inside, so you can easily get changed. If it's rainy, you can get out and sort of chill inside there. You can get a chair in the front as well, in front of your bed chair all of your cooking gear, um, your storage bay, everything will go inside there, no problem whatsoever. Now, feature-wise, it's absolutely packed full of them. Firstly, you've got mosquito windows on all three sides, obviously as well as the door to allow constant airflow through there in the warmer months. You've got rod retaining straps on the outside, obviously the speed up mechanisms of the gazebo, so it goes up super, super quick, and then the patented door design. So the majority of Nash bivvies come supplied with an inner mesh capsule, which serves two purposes. Firstly, it stops any condensation because you've got that double skim. And secondly, it stops any rodents, mosquitoes, snakes, anything getting inside the capsule. So you're completely concealed inside there. But because this is a luxury style one-man bivvy, it's quite big, we didn't want the additional weight of an inner mesh capsule. So we've come up with a design whereby we've got an inner vapor shield in the roof, so that eliminates all condensation. And then on the bottom, you've got a ground sheet which fixes around the whole perimeter, and then a door system that works from the top downwards, meaning you can conceal yourself inside there with the ground sheet and Velcro, and nothing's gonna get inside. Now, door options. There's actually several options how you can have this. I'm not gonna stand here and go through them all now and show you because it'll take me absolutely ages, but there will be a dedicated product video for this Blockhouse, as well as all of the other Nash products that we've launched on this trade show. So head over to the website and give it a check out for yourself. There is one additional extra for the Blockhouse and that is an overwrap. So in the extreme conditions when it really is cold and you may be going for a little bit longer sessions and wanna keep a little bit more warmth in, you can purchase the overwrap. But as they say now, I'm going to save the best till last. We're going to run around to the middle of the show and I'm going to show you. 
Now, as I said round the back, we really are going to save the best till last. These things truly are a thing of beauty. They're the Titan Hide, Camo Pro and Pro XL. So these Pro models are absolutely packed for the features. I'll start off firstly by talking about the fabric. On the existing green models, we had a 420 denier. On this one, we've got an Aquasense Hydra fabric. Obviously in the camo pattern, it's 100% breathable. And we've added a real dark coat into the back of the fabric as well, meaning in the summer months, it'll keep you cooler inside the bivy for longer. Secondly, you've got the peak with a tensioning bar, which just gives you a lot more coverage inside. If you've got driving wind and rain, it's gonna keep you a lot more sheltered. Internally, inside the roof, you've got an inner vapor shield, which completely eliminates all condensation. We've finished that in the camo pattern as well. You've got twin valuables pockets on the inside, one on the left, one on the right. These truly are awesome, guys. I don't know how I ever fish without these. I could not be without them now. It just keeps my power pack, my receiver, my keys, everything just stowed out the way. Um, you've got a much smaller compact block there, which means pack down size is reduced massively. Everyone loves a tighty finish on a bivy. You've got magnetic rod straps, one either side. And the best feature for me, and one that I've absolutely loved during the testing stages of this product, is the vents. So we haven't just added them to the back, we've added them to the two sides as well, meaning again, in them warmer months, you just get a beautiful airflow through there as well to keep it cooler inside the bivy. And obviously, we finish the mesh in camo as well. Now, additional extras that you can get for this product and the XL, you can get the ground sheet, the waterproof front and the mosquito front. And the mosquito front is also finished in the full camo mesh. So there you go, guys. You love the green hide, and I can assure you you're going to love these a hell of a lot more. It's got many upgrades on it, as I've just discussed, such as the peak, the inner vapor shield, the block, the vents, the magnetic rod straps, the inner valuables pockets. It truly is a thing of beauty, you know. We could have just brought out the existing hide in a camo pattern, which all you guys asked for, but we wanted to do something better, and I can assure you that we have done that. Make sure you go check it out. You will not be disappointed. That's our 2020 trade show. As I said at the beginning, I didn't think we was actually gonna make it here this year to as to what's gone on, but we did. Limited time to do this video, so I haven't been able to run through every single feature in detail. There's a lot more that I've missed, as well as a couple of products that I haven't covered, but head over to the Nash Tackle website where every single new product has a dedicated video revealing all of the USPs for that product. So make sure you check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.